Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 4 Arena Ultimax Adachi Edition. Today, we're going to start Chapter 3 of Adachi's episode. <sighs> Did you take a nap? Back inside the school building, I entered an arbitrary classroom and sat in a chair, yawning for the ninth time today. Well, Nazuki or Sho told me to fight the Persona users. So first, I need to go down, but back in school, but back in school, the school, the hallways are even more complicated. And the more I walk, the more dead ends I find. Here, I was thinking of taking this opportunity to go into a town and get some good sushi or barbecue box lunch. Those thoughts of sea urchin and cow tongue come and go fleetingly. What am I thinking? There's no way I'm going outside with a town like that. I mean, you could. I, I hear there's a man named Theodore looking for cola. I look out in the w of the window. I look out the window out of the corner of my eye, and it's obvious that the red fog has grown thicker than it was when I was up on the roof. Sheesh. If he's gonna make me his guest, he could at least have a GPS or something ready for me. That is kind of rude. I rest my chin on my hands and complain to the open air. If only I could ditch all this until this goddamn troublesome tournament is over, but I can't do that this time around. I need to destroy Show's plans for my own sake. After all. I can't even call what I'm about to do a plan, but I've already decided what has to be done. I have to make contact with the Persona users who will be invited here, and I need to lead them on so that they'll move in the right direction. But I can't break the illusion that I'm working with Sho. It's probably not, and probably not an exaggeration to say that this Red World is under his control. I'll have to be clever to move about without arousing his suspicion, while still undermining the work. Well then, I guess I'll get going. <sighs> actually have to go look for those guys. What has he gotten me into? I slowly get up from the chair as I'm grumbling. Why do school chairs always why do school chairs always make my ass hurt if I sit in them for far, for too long? Maybe they're still that they're maybe that's still better than having your seat kicked out from you under you all the time like in jail. I mean, yeah, probably. Or hurt your lower back by falling all the time. I leave the classroom to find a runway like uh, hallway stretching up for me. I sigh at a dull at the dull scenery. I've come down pretty far looking for them, but I guess I still have to have a ways to go. What? You're serious? Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm. I hear a familiar voice through the fog and stop. Could it be? I sneak ahead, keeping my ears open. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Hmm. Oh, maybe he transferred here. Okay, so this is when we it's first ran into Adachi. There's no doubt about it. That's the Junez kid and his, the girl in the green tracks jacket. I didn't think I'd run into these guys so soon. I, f I feel the corner of my mouth turn up at an unexpected bit of luck. Now that I know it's them, there's no need for me to hide. I approach them, making sure that, that that my footsteps are loud on the hallway floor. What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. Gonna be the anime cutscene? Yeah. Good use of budget. It is, actually. They reuse a cutscene like this, right? You're kidding me. GA looks a little bit different there. Hey guys, long time no see. Are you serious? <laughs> Adachi san. <laughs> when they see me, all three of them look shocked as if I caught them on a hidden cam show. Heck, Yukun has his mouth wide open. Surprise! <laughs> I want to laugh at my laugh my ass off right now, but I shouldn't be doing anything that could mess things up. I have to keep my contact with them to a minimum. No way! Why is Adachi son? Could he be a fake? Huh? Fake? Oh right! I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> Why are you here? Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved. But someone begged me to help out. Beg. You, yeah. Not the kind With of guy a gun. Say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Yosuke Kun scowls. Ah, these guys already met show. That saved me the trouble of having to explain things. Mm -hmm. Have you guys already met? Oh, man. That doesn't matter. Don't tell me you 
were working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. She'll do it. See, they've taken the bait. Just as expected, they're so straightforward that it's almost stupid. Still, it's more convenient for me that they think I'm working for the other side. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on, aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are. You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't it's you? It's a habit. You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? I snickered, <laughs> snickered contemptuously, and Yukun, who's been quiet up until now, except when he asked you a question, glares at me with a complicated look on his face. Adachi san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? That's right, I decided to follow the rules, so I might have to play along with these kids' ideas. To them, I'm just an escape convict. I'd be easier if I just could tell them what I've got in mind, but unfortunately, being an adult is hard. <laughs> Amen, brother! Besides, I don't care what they think of me, as long as I can fulfill my objective. Since I'm not saying anything, Yukun steps towards me as if he can't hold himself back anymore. Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Well, okay, there was also the time where the TV world kind of like spilled over to the reality world, right? Yeah, and we fought the gas. They, 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 okay, well, actually, hold up. I might be mixing that up. Did we fight her in the real world? I, um... I don't know. I can't remember. Was there an additional dungeon after the ski trip? I know there was a dungeon in the ski trip. Wait, no. No, 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 no. The ski trip happened after the, the true end, right? Yes. Yes. Probably. Shit, I can't remember. Anyways. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. I mean, fair enough. They should give you a book or a crossword puzzle. All the questions about what he's after or what's going to happen to this town. I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? He says he doesn't give a damn, Chie. Dutch, you lousy. Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like, I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here. Because that's how you think. I really don't have, like, a chance to not abide by the rules. We get stuck by invisible walls, dog. Rules here. Oh, you can look serious. I think this means that they don't know about the rules here yet. Meaning they don't know about the Persona Fragments. I should give them a hint of the danger they're facing. You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's going to happen because of that. Honestly, brats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're dumb. Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it could bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona Fragments by now. <laughs> huh? Uh? They finally realize something's up and trade, trade worried looks with one another. What, were they just playing cops and robbers up until now? What kind of investigation team are you? More like non-investigation team. Good one, Adachi. Ah, that was as lame as one of the show's chokes. <laughs> as I'm lamenting the loss of my sense of humor, Yukun, who has his own worries, trembles and bites his lip. Have we been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. But I'm rusty too, it's been five months. The school building suddenly creaks loudly like the howling of a beast. I instantly recognize it as the noise of the countless shadows gathering at the top of the tower. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. <laughs> oh, and your friends who got caught? They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? It means it means your friends will be in trouble if you leave them be. Chie, are you all right? It means just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> what? Oh, invisible wall. 
I turn my back on him and disappear into the red fog. I hear Yosuke Yoon try to chase after me, only to run into an invisible wall. They already had four red pillars around them. That means they can't leave without winning the battle that they're going to face. I guess that's enough for now. Well, go on and do your best investigation. Probably shouldn't say that out loud. In the head, Adachi. I quietly mutter to, at the kids behind me. Looks like Sho's plans are coming along faster than I had figured. It doesn't look like I have much time to slack off. I might even have to hurry. Outside the hallway windows, I can see the shadows collecting here, and they're floating into the sky like sheds of uh, shreds of paper. Still, shadows blowing around like trash. The surreality, the surreality, the surreality of the scene makes me laugh. You can still go to the store, right? Like if you snuck out. We're technically in the real world, even though it's covered in mist. We could go to the store and get like a sushi box, yeah. I'm not saying he should or he deserves to have one, but I don't know. If I was a dachi, I'd, I'd probably, <laughs> I probably would be in jail for a very long time. You're right, but at the same time, I try to get a sushi box. After leaving Yukun in the hall, I've been walking around the school building in search of other pers uh, Persona users. The shadows and the Persona fragments are building up at a surprising rate. Perhaps I'm feeling a little worried as the fog thickens with the passage of time. Because I was walking faster than usual, I was able to come across a new area quickly. Just in case anything happens, I kept my gun in my hand. I slowly l slide the door open with my other hand. Beyond the door is a room with eerie light pouring in, and Sho is sitting on the coffin. All he's doing is staring at the giant clock looming in the back of the room. When he notices me, he slowly turns in my direction. Huh? Oh, it's just you. Hey there. Looks like it's going well. Getting plenty of Persona fragments, huh? Yeah, it's going so well, I'm bored as shit. I want to see them cry and groan and pain and all that. I mean, it's kind of the wrong team to do that to because most of them won't. Actually, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and go take them apart. <laughs> well, there's no need to rush. After all, they can't leave this place. Huh? Well, yeah. Ugh, I'm getting so bored. I should just go take out a couple of them. You can try. Whoa, hold on there. And you know what? There's no need to get hasty when the plan's going so well. He has right? tried in the past, but he's kind of weak. To just sit back and wait. What are you talking so big for? Want me to stick my sword through your ears? Are we gonna fight, Show? With that, Show slowly draws one of his katanas, then turns and stabs into one of the coffins lying around. The hero, no, no! He keeps hacking at it without a word, as if scratching an itch. I take this bizarre action as a sign of his madness. Yeah, oh, scary. Can't you calm down a bit? You won't beat anyone like that. You also dull your katanas. And you came to get me because you needed me, no? You sure it's a good idea to kill me just because I rub you the wrong way? Cripes, what a wet blanket. Did you just come from a picnic out in the rain or something? <laughs> I like how his laugh has question marks. Don't get the wrong idea. That guy has nothing to do with this. I can kill anyone I want. With a sudden fury, he unseats his other sword and points it at my throat. Kill anyone if I feel like it, huh? Don't get cocky, you little sh asswipe. Then go on ahead. It's easy, right? Have you actually killed anyone before? <sighs> this guy's really pissing me off. Take that as a no! Joe seats his swords with a sneer. I figured as much, but now it's clear that he doesn't like people acting superior to him. They say people like him suffer from inferiority complexes. You don't say, but I don't give a damn about his past. What's more important right now is, I take a quick glance at the exit out of the corner of my eyes. All the sneaking around is really bugging me. They think they're hiding, but I can see their shadows on the floor. Those kids from the investigation team are as inept as ever. I move around to keep show from noticing them and I walk towards him. Look, there's no need to fight. Once it descends, after all, the world's going to totally disappear. Why spend your time dealing with them, you know? Just ignore those kids. Uh, that's not the problem. 
I look at those guys, and I can't stop gagging. They just herd together like best buds. I don't know why they're so full of themselves. Probably because they're very strong. It makes me want to beat the shit out of them. Get them to cry like babies. You get me? Do you? Yosuke Chie, get back! Damn, I guess he did notice. Joe reaches behind his back and pulls out a knife and then throws it at them. The knife fails to reach them, though, and thuds into the ground at their feet. <laughs> You're so lame. Such a freaking irritating bunch. I hate to even look at you. I just want to see you completely destroyed. His anger-fueled shout echoes throughout the warped room. Figuring that it's useless to hide any longer, Yukun and his little friends step into the room. Damn it, I didn't want them to meet Sho any more than absolutely necessary. My plan has changed a little, but I can't help that. I think it's best if I play the spectator for a while. Show me Nazuki. What are you planning? So it's just gonna be the same cutscene from the main game. Huh? Weren't you listening? I'm gonna get rid of all you disgusting pests and make this a world I can stand to live in. Well, good for you. W what? Don't be ridiculous. That won't help anybody but you. That's G8. Yeah? So what? Of course it only helps me. I'm saying you're disgusting, so you should all just die. This isn't funny anymore. <laughs> you're totally nuts. This is true. Nothing else matters as long as you're satisfied. Well, duh! Friends? Bonds? You worthless pests aren't accomplishing anything but licking each other's wounds! Shitty pests in this shitty world have no goddamn call to give me their shitty lectures! I'm telling you, I'm gonna get rid of every shred of everything! Leave the PlayStations, please. Little. You really are a piece of shit that's not worth saving. You've got no right to do that! The world will be much quieter soon. Just like here, a wonderful place where there's no one else. Have you looked around, dog? This wonderful place is full of people. What? A world with no one else? Ugh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Just hurry up and get smashed to pieces, you shitty pests! Ah, uh, there he goes again. Is this what that youth anger I hear about in the news? My, my, so scary. Show explodes in anger and pulls out his katanas again with a menacing look on his face. He's just way too willing to hurt people. I may as well try to stop him, even though it's probably not going to do anything. Whoa, whoa, what are you getting all worked up for? You really shouldn't do that. And you shut up too, you piece of shit! Come get me, I'll beat the life out of you. You'll be begging for mercy! The red pillars in the corners of the room immediately shine as Sho takes a combat stance. I've never seen that posture before, but I can tell it's nothing like uh, it's not anything like kids playing with uh, being samurais. That's a killer style, developed to take down the enemy with certainty. I can't believe our town is such a mess because of that guy. There's no way I'm sitting back and letting it happen. <laughs> I'm with you. We'll show you with our own fists how strong you can be. And by fists, I mean protect. blades. GA is the one that punches people. Show strong. Don't let your guard down. You hasn't been paying attention. Are we fighting? No. You little. It was Sho who fell to the ground at the end of the intense clash. The red pillars shatter, signaling that the battle had been decided. Huh, I didn't expect this. Sho holds one hand to his chest in pain while he gaps, nailing on the ground. From my perspective as a spectator, Sho was just as strong as his opponent. No, he was better in every way. Sho was faster, stronger, and has f and focused on his opponent's weaknesses. So why'd he lose? Well, duh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, the answer is simple, Persona. Show didn't use a persona a single time. Dude, we have fought Show many times with or without a persona. It's kind of weak. That means he doesn't have the power to use one. I didn't know that before, so learning this is a big plus for me. The other personality, Minazuki, uses the persona. It's kind of weird since they're in the same body, but they say that personas come from the power of the mind, so I guess it makes sense that one of them might be able to use one while the other can't. 
what did I tell you? This is because you kept using those weird powers. You got all puffed up because of someone else's gift. Whoops, I accidentally spoke my mind in front of Sho. I quickly covered my mouth, then noticed Yukun watching me, still in fighting stance. I guess it's only natural that they'd be wary of me, but damn. Are we fighting you next, Adachi-san? Huh? Oh man, don't be ridiculous. Why would I do something that hard? Hard? Aren't you supposed to be on Sho's side? Sho's side? <laughs> Give me a break. Come on. Isn't there someone else besides me you should be worrying about? Someone we should worry about. That's right. This isn't over yet. The troublesome thing about Sho is the fact that the Minazuki's there, too, and you doesn't know about him yet. If Sho's been beaten, he's not just going to lie there and take it. This saves me the trouble of having to explain everything myself, but it's no good for me to, no good for me if they happen to get killed. Uh, am I going to have to babysit these kids myself? Persona. And there he is. Uh, the instant Manazuki sits up, a reddish black shadow appears behind him and attacks the investigation team. The tables are quickly turned, and soon Manazuki has got the kids cornered. Let's end this. <laughs> the two personas come together violently, and it's clear that Yukun's at a big disadvantage. If that happens, my plan will have been all for nothing. I have absolutely no interest in what happens between the, these two brats, but I can't let them get killed. Just when I thought it was time for me to lend them a hand. Persona! Persona! I like this image. <laughs> two personas appear from the red fog and attack Munazuki simultaneously. Manazuki's persona is stunned, and its relentless attack stops. Yukun! Senpai, are you alright? Yeah. It's Naoto's Shirogani and some other girl I don't know, who's carrying a giant axe. They come running in, and Manazuki sighs. More imbeciles. It seems deploying doppelgangers made from shadows wasn't enough. Don't move. Get away from Yukun, or I won't show any mercy. No histrionics. I'll concede now without them. Though, should I at least get rid of Narukami first? <laughs> Minazuki points his blade at the nailing Yukun. Unlike Sho, Minazuki would be able to kill Yukun like he was squashing a bug. He can't be underestimated. I'm actually going to have to stop this. Uh, stop him this time. I walk into the corner of the center of the room, placing myself between the two. Sounds like a bad plan. Haven't you ever heard the saying, the cornered stag is most dangerous? I don't think you have time or energy to waste. No. Why are you here? Nadokun's eyes widen with surprise overseeing me, and then... The school building begins to creak again. The shaking is longer and more intense than when I was on the roof, meaning that the power Minazuki's collecting is coming closer. It seems things were progressing a little, f a lot faster than I thought they would. Ah! Whoa! What is the shaking? It's begun. I'll be taking my leave. All that's left is to see this through. Hey, hold it! When Minazuki turns his back to leave, the other kids surround him to prevent his escape. But Minazuki doesn't show any sign of panic. In fact, he gives them a mocking snare. You truly love to swarm, don't you? You find your strength by herding together. But there are enough Persona Fragments now. I have no need to deal with you anymore. What is this? Uh, my... My legs... Uh, this again? It only takes an instant. The moment Minazuki's eyes glow red, the air shakes and the kids in the front of me suddenly stop as if chained down. Seeing that confirms my suspicions. Minazuki's capable of using his persona to control others. He used his power to control the detective in the interrogation room.
Minatsuki spares one last glance at Yukun's group and runs off into the fog. Didn't he go through the door? The other kids are frozen like statues. I can only watch him disappear. I'm free to do anything, but there's no point in me chasing after Minazuki, so I just let him go. Once Minazuki's gone, the Yukun's group is released from whatever a hold is over them, and they all fall to the ground. Perhaps that was pretty hard for them. They all seem to be in a lot of pain. Before they can even catch their breath, the sound of footsteps approaches through the fog. A beauty in skin-type black in a... In a, in a a beauty in a skin tight black cat suit shows up. Cat suit? Let's begin. Bring on the ring. Oh, it's a fake Mitsuru. When the lady yells out, the red pillar reappears in the corners of the room and the invisible walls lock into place. Being stuck again seems to confuse the kids, and the situation is out of their depth. Mitsuru san? No, that's a fake. Where's Minazuki? He's gone already. Hey, not to butt in, but don't you think you're in over your heads a little this time? Didn't you see his power? You're up against more than just that breath. I shout to them from beyond the invisible walls. There's no time for them to figure this stuff out on their own. Just get it already. With, with, it's with a bit of annoyance that I continue on. Don't you think it's a little late? He said he has all the persona fragments he needs. So all that's left is to summon that thing. And then jam the fragments he's gathered into. As I say that, a rapier swings right in, uh, right in front of my nose. I blink in surprise and I see a few strands of hair falling in front of my eyes, like in a comic. She may be a huddy, but I don't need a chick swinging sharp objects in my face. That might have hurt. What was that for? You speak too much, imbecile. Should I deal with you instead? Whoa, no way! Where'd you get that idea? All right then. I did try to warn you, Max. I've said enough already. Even the stupid investigation team should get it by now, right? I turn my back on them and quickly leave the classroom. If they realize show's plans, then they should be heading for the uh, for the top of the tower. At the peak, they'll find countless shadows, the Persona Fragments, and that power. The pieces are all there. Then again, it'll take them some time to get out of that barrier. They've seen the possibility that they might not even make it to the top. <sighs> Seriously, give me a break. Either way, I've got to disrupt Shiro's plan somehow. I pat my jacket to reassure myself that my gun is still holstered in, in my waist, and run up the stairway leading to the top of the tower. I thought you guys went up the... The, the door, the clock door, no? To be continued? Okay. I mean, I'm kind of surprised by the fact that, like, it's not the door from the clock that leads up there. Oh, let's see, what time is it? Um, We can do one more. Sure. There's not that much combat at Dachi's uh, DLC, apparently. A whim. I'm sure in good shape, considering I never exercised while I was in jail. I wonder if it's thanks to that bland health food. As if I, as I climb the top of the t to the top of the tower through the fog, I come to an open area. Looks like this is my goal. Looking up through the powerful winds, the gathered shadows swirl around the top of the tower, giving off a sinister power. Oh, it's totally red. I wasn't ready for this. God damn it, Adachi. Nope, that poem was just awful. I shake my head and look up at the cloud of shadows swirling around in the sky. The whirling storm sucks in one shadow after another, like a tornado. I gulp at the sight, uh, sight up close. The things a brat can dream up are scary. Wouldn't stand a chance if you got swallowed up in this. I guess Sho's scheme is a huge success so far. In the middle of the red fog is a clear obj object to the size of a person, giving off light as it floats. I see, so that's all the fragments he kept shaving off from the Persona users. The red-haired kid is standing next to it. As I stay low and watch, it looks like he hasn't noticed me. These kids were tricked into helping him collect the Persona fragments under the guise of the P1 Climax. Well, after such an intense battle, staying alive is a bit impressive. I think they deserve some praise there. It would be a problem if anyone died here. 
My goal here is to keep anyone from becoming a victim. That's all there is to it. That's just something I can't allow. Sorry, but that's why I'm gonna have to gum up the works by whatever means necessary. I draw my pistol and aim at the redhead, uh, red-haired young man through the fog. Show. Red shows looking at the giant shadow with an expression of rapture. Maybe he's too busy with his new world? He's not even looking this way. Well, that's convenient for me. I slowly thumb back the hammer on my revolver. People may not know this about me, but I'm actually pretty confident with my aim. I was always the top in my class in pistol training at the academy. I take aim at the Persona Fragment in front of show. Well, maybe it's too big to be called a fragment now. If I can break that thing, show's plan is done for. I've only got the one chance. That's okay. I can't miss here. I concentrate and put my finger on the trigger. What? Did I hit it? I'm surprised I got it, but the Persona Fragment... Um, I'm sure I got it, but the Persona Fragment didn't break. The impact of the bullet was only enough to crack it slightly. That one shot wasn't enough. I'll have to get another shot in. I quickly take aim at the crack in the crystal, but just when I'm about to pull the trigger... Hey, Adachi. Um, target practice? So stands in front of me with a look of rage. He found me. Uh, frontal assault and the absolute last thing I wanted to do, but I guess I can't help that now. I doubt he'd believe me if I told him my finger slipped. Hmm? Did I ever say I was going to cooperate with you? <laughs> you goddamn son of a... I'll destroy you! Alright, I guess we're actually fighting show this time. Yeah, I mean, I, I was wondering who we would fight in Adachi's story, and it's just show so far. Well, we fought Minazuki first, but now it's show without a persona. Though, so, to be fair, it's kind of just the same thing, just one's slightly limited in abilities. Stop it. Still hurts, though. <laughs> Ow, stop it. It's no use. You oh, I missed. Stop it. There we go. No, 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 no. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, a tackle hug. I won, but it's more like Sho just got tired of fighting and gave up. I was hurt pretty badly, but Sho must have used a lot of his stamina in that battle. I sit down on Sho's chest to keep him pinned. You bastard. What's this about? Were you planning to betray me from the start? What an ungrateful little prick! Sho glares at me, see seethingly. He must really be pissed. I can feel him trembling underneath me. Didn't I say? I told you I was gonna do whatever I want. You cocky dipshit. Don't think that you've won. Hey, Adachi, shoot the crystal! You must be seriously stupid to defy me. That's why you lost to them, you goddamn stupid moronic idiot! Ah, uh, all this yapping is hurting my ears. How many times do you have to call me a moron, you moron? I press the muzzle of my pistol against Sho's jaw to shut him up. <laughs> you actually have the nerve to say that to me. You're the one who got all cocky and started a fighting tournament. Haven't you had your fun? Because there's no way a brat like you could control that kind of power. You really should just say you're sorry to everyone and go back home like a good little boy, you know? Shut up, shut up, shut up! The hell are you mocking me for? I'll kill you! Get off me! I can do this! What's wrong with doing things because I can? Want me to skewer you from your jaw straight through your skull? I mean, that would that would happen if you skewered from the jaw, yeah. Doing it because you can, huh? You know, watching you really irritates me. It's like seeing myself last year. Seriously, it's irritating. The Persona Fragment is only a few meters away. I recock my pistol while holding Showdown. I take aim at the small target half hidden in the red fog. This will end all of this. Yeah. 
In the blink of an eye, my view flips upside down. Cho, who had been under my control just a moment ago, is now sitting on top of me. Shoot, Cho's got that power too. I don't have any control over my own body, and I just lay on the ground like a rag doll. Cho's eyes glow a burning red in his fury. Kill you, Adachi. I'll crush you into pulp so no one will know what you even looked like! The brat begins punching me in the face, and I can taste blood from the cut lip. <laughs> My head rocks from the impact of each hit. That's some power he has. <laughs> if I'm still thinking that, I still have some life in me. You bastard. What are you thinking? You know how important this thing is. Are you trying to ruin my plan? Uh, yeah? <laughs> If he wanted to kill me, he could just pick his sword up and do me in with a single slash. Instead, he gets on top of me and starts pounding. Not letting me off so easily. Uh, so easy. Uh, lucky for me, his rage is getting the better of him. <laughs> Once a brat, always a brat. Sure, this hurts, but if my luck keeps up, I might just survive this. That's what I said. I tried to destroy those Persona fragments by striking when I saw the chance. You worthless vermin. I knew you weren't worth shit, but to think you were biding your time for this, well... <laughs> oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Things are going black. I don't even feel much pain anymore, and I'm on the verge of passing out. Show doesn't hesitate to give me another kick. Uh, don't they teach kids the meaning of the word moderation in school, these, school anymore? At this rate, he might actually kill me. You really piss me off. Nothing but trash. I was only planning to use from the start. Ha! I nearly black out after that intense blow, but I managed to hang in there. Maybe he got tired of hitting me. Show gets up, picks up his sword, and locks looks down on me mockingly. <laughs> Just for curiosity's sake, how are you planning to use me? <laughs> I think you're misunderstanding me. You know the whole taming business? I wasn't planning to rely on your knowledge to begin with, moron. All I need is your persona. I was gonna rip off your persona, turn it into a shadow, slam it into the gathered shadows, and presto, Adachi's part is done. Okay. He was going to turn my persona into a shadow and fuse it with the shadows he was collecting? I don't have a clue what he's talking about. As I lie there confused, Sho holds his stomach and laughs merrily. <laughs> Ooh, I love that stupid look on your face. It's so great. I'm gonna let you in on some more secrets. Seems like the power left in you interferes with the thing I'm planning to absorb. I guess that power beyond humanity clashes with each other? But when that happens, that thing won't be at its full strength. Oh, okay. If you think about it the other way around, using your power stops that thing from doing whatever it wants. And then I get to tame it. So in order to control the power he is going for, he has to counter it with even more power, huh? I think I see a flaw in that reasoning, but given that we're talking about a power suppre suppressing the realm of man here, logic might be going out the window. Once everything was ready and I cut up the rest of them, I was going to kill you slow. Still, I at least gave you the chance to have some fun, you piece of shit. I was going to let your crap slide until I showed you the end of the world you never got to achieve. Why not? Right? <laughs> Don't. We're the same, you little brat. What? What was that? I think he said, don't think that we're the same, you little brat. You think the whole world hates you just because someone didn't treat you right. You are nothing but a little kid throwing a tantrum. This is true. You know, I seriously hate this world. Don't put me in the same shoes as a half-assed brat like you. Please. <laughs> You're so finished, you bastard. I'll kill you just like you want. <laughs> sure. I'm lame. Whatever. But you don't know yet, do you? <sighs> Those guys don't play around. You better be prepared. Die, you piece of shit. 
Sho slowly unsheaths the sword and lays it across my throat. The touch of cold steel against my neck gives me goosebumps. Ah, this situation's gone foobar. If my own corpse ends up hanging on a telephone pole somewhere, it's going to make last year's case even more complicated. And if that happens, all the work I've done will go down the drain. Not only will my rules be taken away from me, but if the investigation into last year's case gets dropped, there'll be nothing left for me. That was the experience that defined the that was the experience that defines who I am. I can't allow it to become a lie. The katana gleams red in the moonlight when Sho raises it high into the air. Why raise it? Just slash. You had it on his neck. And then Stop it, Sho! The impact of I the impact that I expect don't doesn't come. I slowly open my eyes to see Yukun holding Sho back. Ah, uh, you're early. Way to ruin the moment. You can frowns, not understanding what's going on. He seems confused that Sho and I are at odds. It's not like I need him to need him to sympathize with me. I don't need his pity, but I don't want to be misunderstood either. Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you guys. I just wanted to set things right for myself. I know you're not that type of person. A look of relief spreads across Yuzkun's face. Seriously, kid, you're a dope. If I die now, the investigation would have to start from scratch. Thinking about that happening pisses me off, that's all. You are such a know-it-all. It's not very attractive. Tell that to all my girlfriends. I try to mock him, but talking hurts too much. And thanks to the show beating the crap out of me, everything's getting cloudy again. I've done this much on my own. It's your turn to stop him, team leader. I can't even say those words, but that's what I'm thinking. It's then it's then that I lose consciousness. To be continued. To be continued. All right. I think we'll call it here today. And let's see. What's the next one called? A Bratz BS. How stupid. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hear my videos so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.